You're killing me. Oh, you're killing me. You are killing me with those beautiful shots. I want it on his all right now. That coffee is ice cold. Just add in thirds. Don't add it all straight away. Oh my god, he put coffee in the mix. This, this guy is nuts. He put coffee in the cream. What are you doing? Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Play, the place where you get to learn how to cook delicious Italian recipes in your own kitchen. Tiramisu. Today we are reacting to the most popular tiramisu recipes. And let me tell you, tiramisu is my favorite dessert on the planet. So you cannot make mistakes with a tiramisu. I also have to tell you something. I made a mistake in my tiramisu video recipe. And it's not a recipe mistake. It's a mistake with the video. And I will tell you later on towards the end of this video. Stay tuned. The first video we're watching is from this cooking channel called The Cooking Guide. Uh, it's a very popular channel. Normally their recipes are pretty good and this tiramisu looks good. It's been watched by two and a half million people. So let's see if these people are doing the right thing. Watching me when we're with our friends It's definitely something in the air. So let's wow. from there, Mouth watering. Yeah. Look at the precision. Look how perfect that slice is. This person must be an architect. Creamy, perfect. Look how beautiful it is. This tiramisu is what I want to order at the restaurant. This is what I want when I go to the restaurant. It's beautiful. But let's see what's inside. The look is nice. Let's see the ingredients. Oh. Oh, you're killing me. Oh, you're killing me. You are killing me with those beautiful shots. I want tiramisu right now. Espresso. You do want to get your espresso, make sure it's cold, okay? That's for the biscuits, so you can dip the biscuits in there. Now, liquor, it's optional, like she said. I never use it because my wife doesn't like the alcohol in cakes and it's kids friendly and i believe the tiramisu tastes better without alcohol if you like the alcohol go for it you put it in the coffee like she's doing right now this is great so far great recipe mix of course let cool down so important Perfect. Five egg yolks and sugar. Perfect. I don't see the white part of the egg, but I'm sure it's coming. Wow, she's doing a bagno maria, ben marie. Well done, because basically by doing this, you avoid risk of salmonella or anything else. I never do this, to be honest. In all my life, I never had salmonella or any anything. Uh, but I guess this is the safest thing to do for you and your family if you want to make tiramisu. I never do. But if it makes you feel better, do what this lady is doing in the video. Well done. For someone, a place. I know how you feel, but it's scared to say to my face. It's you beautiful, creamy. It. Afraid to let it show. So beautiful. Look how creamy it is. Amazing. And I know when you need it. Oh, she's so professional. She's got a temperature. Well done. Why don't we let it grow? Why don't we let it grow? It's important to let it cool. Now I hope we see the white, the egg white. Oh. oh, she's not using the egg white. That's a shame. I like the egg white because you create the foam with the egg white. You know, it's such a beautiful tiramisu, it looks nice, but why you didn't use the egg whites? That beautiful foam needs to be created it's very important unless you're doing it next it is good to put the mascarpone and the vanilla extract which i don't normally put it but it is nice to put vanilla extract and the mascarpone in the egg yolks because that would be the most creamy part Look at that. 
Amazing video. Oh no, why are you using heavy cream? Why are you using heavy cream? I know lots of people use cream at the moment. I know your tiramisu lasts longer if you use heavy cream. Usually a tiramisu lasts three, four days, but why do you have to put cream in the tiramisu? The egg white does what you need. It creates what you need. Do not use heavy cream in the tiramisu, please. It tastes nice, it's delicious, but it's a lot better when you just use eggs. eggs. Watching me when we're with our friends. Oh. Definitely. Okay, I'm glad she writes for the egg whites version. Read the notes. Okay, so she knows that the right thing to do is the egg whites, but she probably prefers the cream. I guess it's safer at the same time. I just love the egg whites. I like the classic version. I'm a purist in for tiramisu. Tiramisu is my favorite, and I don't wanna do anything to change my favorite recipe. No, this is so well done. This video is so well done. So important what you do right now. See how you put the cream inside the egg mix? It's so important and you do the same if you use the egg white. The reason why you fold slowly and you don't use the end stand mix is because you don't make the mix go flat. You still keep it nice and dense and creamy. But if you use a, a mixer, you're at home, it's okay, you're nothing wrong with that. Now, deep each lady finger into the coffee mixture. It is important to use lady fingers. It's called Savoyardi. If you can get the Italian brand Savoyardi, it's a lot better than any lady fingers that you find, simply because for some reason, the Savoyardi, in within two to three seconds, they, they get enough coffee, they absorb enough coffee. Those lady fingers that are made in Australia, England or America, in my opinion, they never absorb enough coffee and I will probably do three seconds one to two seconds is not enough for me as you can see at the beginning of the video if you notice again you can see how dry the you know the biscuits are you can make them a little bit more soft by doing three seconds that's my recommendation He's using Italian Savoyardi, I can tell. They are Italian Savoyardi. They definitely need three seconds. One to two seconds is not enough. Three seconds and they're perfect. Look how creamy it is. Yeah, you put half, you're right, you put half. And you do the same thing. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, she said refrigerate for at least six hours. I agree. I actually like to make mati remisu the day before. Now, the only question I have, and maybe she's making it more authentic than me, is that she didn't put the chocolate yet. You know, she's gonna put the chocolate just before she serves. I like to put the chocolate when I make the tiramisu because the chocolate will eventually melt in the cream and I think it will give so many beautiful flavors. Let me tell you, when you use cocoa powder right before you serve, Sometimes I find it's overpowering. Sometimes I find it is a bit annoying there, that dust of chocolate. It's not always the best thing to do. I do believe the tiramisu needs the cocoa from the moment you finish to make it. Let it melt. And if you wanna add some extra cocoa powder just before you serve, then you serve, you put some more again. But you don't need it. You don't need to. Perfect. It didn't get stuck to the plastic wrap, which is perfect. This tiramisu looks amazing, looks fantastic. And yes, it is also delicious with the cream. I can't watch this anymore, I have to stop watching this. This is so good, this is so yummy. Well done, the cooking foodie, really nice recipe. This is delicious, give it to me. I can eat half of the Pyrex, let me tell you. Well done, bravissima. And now it's time to react to my favorite. Gordon Ramsay. Yes, he made tiramisu. It's been watched by almost 2 million people. And let's see what he does. The Michelin star chef showing us how to make tiramisu. Tiramisu, basically, pick me up. That's what it means in Italian. But it's easy, simple, delicious. That's right, pick me up. That's what it means in Italian. This guy's a bit stressed. How many coffee have you had? <laughs> very, very fast. You're very fast. We split it into two bowls. 
mascarpone. Put that into the bowl and just let it go nice and soft. In the next bowl, 150 ml of cream. Mmm, we do not put cream, but like the other video, now you can use cream. But yeah, he didn't say it's authentic. Sugar. Whisk. That's really important that we don't overheat this cream. It's just looking like a nice sort of thick lard consistency. Why wow, he's whisking with his hands? That's well done. And he deserves a round of applause. Well done, well done. Already within seconds, it's got nice and sort of light and soft vanilla extract. Now we use an extract over fresh vanilla because it gives a really nice sort of dense dark color. Masala wine. Wow. Okay. Using vanilla masala. Now, as you can see, the lady before added the masala in the coffee. That's the right thing to do. So, God, you should have watched this video if you want to use masala. Masala goes in the coffee, which I haven't seen the coffee yet. Have you seen the coffee? What you need to do as well, that vanilla can go in the cream, but you need to use the eggs. Where are the eggs? Where are the eggs go? The only have there is cream and mascarpone. That's not tiramisu to me. Egg and coffee are very important. So where are they? Very nice sort of cafe au lait color now on the cream. Coffee. Now it's really important that coffee is ice cold. Just add in thirds, don't add it all straight away. Oh my God, he put coffee in the mix. This guy is nuts. He put coffee in the cream. What are you doing? Gordon, stop teaching people how to do Italian cuisine. This is not French food. Just change the title to tiramisu. Just change it. Don't call it tiramisu. I can't believe it. Fold in our cream and ice and sugar. Oh my God, there's no eggs. He's not putting eggs. So he's making his own recipe and he's calling it tiramisu. So it's a really nice, light, Tiramisu. It's not tiramisu. It's not tiramisu. It's just cream with coffee and then you put mascarpone. Mascarpone is the only tiramisu ingredient you're using. Where's the eggs? Where's the sugar? Do you put sugar? Fast and set within 20 minutes in the fridge. Bowl. Coffee. Thank God he's not using creme fraiche. Thank God. Ladies fingers. And just into the coffee, turn them round and out again. Oh my, he's such a tired ass. How much money? You got so much money. Put more coffee in there, use more coffee. Come on, the biscuit, the Savoyardi or Ladyfinger, need to swim in the coffee for three seconds. Deep in, uno, due, tre, you take it out. You don't do that what you just did. Don't be a tired ass, please. You want the biscuit to absorb the coffee. You want to give the flavors to the biscuits. You don't want the biscuit to be dry in the middle. What happens now, they're soggy on the outside, but still nice and crispy in the center. But that's not what you want. That's not what you want. You want them to be soft inside. Take your martini glass. Fingers in. Ah, of course. I mean, you're doing martini glass. You make it this fancy. Of course, you do want the biscuit to be firm. I understand now. Apologies, I apologize. You're creating your own version. That's okay. But it's not okay. Be generous with it. Let me tell you, this cream is delicious. This cream is beautiful. I love this cream. I love the way you've done it. It's beautiful, but it's not tiramisu. It's not tiramisu. Fridge, 20 minutes. No, okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. Let's change video. He said, fridge, 20 minutes. And that's not correct because the tiramisu needs to go in the fridge overnight or for at least six hours, like the other lady said. You need to give time to set. You put a biscuit in the glass just like that. What, what is, is that? that? What, what is that? What are you trying to do? Just put the biscuits the way they should be in the martini glass, okay? You just put at the end two biscuits there for decoration. But do the right thing. Put the coffee. Anyway, you always know how to make me upset, Gordon. Honestly, I don't know what to do with you anymore. But I'm gonna show you my video now, okay? This is my original tiramisu video, the first one I ever made. I'm gonna show you one thing, okay? The title of this video says, Best Tiramisu Recipe. How to make Italian tiramisu my way. I told you it's my way. This is how I love to eat it. This is how I love it, because I'm a big, huge tiramisu fan, okay? From the title, I hope you get it's not the most authentic because I do write my way in there, okay? And I'll tell you what is different 
to what the lady did before in the previous video. So first I use the egg white because the egg white is very important. For about three minutes each, all no. um, until it soften and smooth. So as you can see, we have both the egg yolk and the white together in there, three together. The inseparate bolts, but I've got both of them. That's the important thing. Now I wanna show you how creamy the white part is. Look at my white part to compare with the other lady. Look how soft, moussey, it's like a mousse. You know, it's not too dense, it's like a mousse on top. Oh my God, it looks so young in here. <laughs> you have, have to, to watch, watch this video, guys. I look, look young, young and skinny. skinny. So, but if you look at that, it's just beautiful and it's the way it should be. Should melt in your mouth, should not be too dense. But see that? See how moist, how beautiful it is? Now, this is the thing that people got pissed off. I use chocolate, which is nice. So that's my touch. You don't have to, it's not authentic. It's my way. I use Nesquik. So by using Nesquik, I'm bastardizing my recipe. But let me tell you, I grew up eating Nesquik tiramisu. I was using Nesquik and I like the way the Nesquik melts in the tiramisu. Because now I cover it, I leave it in the fridge overnight and the tiramisu gets absorbed, okay? Yes, go for the, look how beautiful it is on the side. Yes, you can go for the chocolate um, cocoa powder. And that's what I do now because I don't want to make everyone upset. But try the Nesquik ones in your life, okay? Myself, me, Reacting to you, I bastardized my recipe. Look at what happened the day after. You got that. Still got a little bit of cocoa powder on top, like the next quick, because it got stuck on the chocolate. Look at the inside there, I wanna show you. You got the biscuit, it's soft. So the tiramisu is not very firm. The biscuit is soft, so it's creamy. You got the nice amount of cream right on top. In the middle, you get less cream. It's not perfect if you look at this. It's not perfect. So maybe you can do it in a glass. So when you make tiramisu in the glass, it will look nicer when you serve it because you don't see that it doesn't become floppy. But this floppy reaction that you see, is showing you that the tiramisu is not thick, it's not dense, it's not firm. It's moist, it's soft, and it will melt in your mouth just the way you want it. I think it's a good thing. But now I have something else I want to show you in my video. Now this is the other video I want to talk to you about. I filmed this beautiful video and it was so yummy when I filmed it. Look at that cream. See that beautiful cream? Oh, you see it changed. I want to show you this part because here I had the cream. It was perfect. That cream, it was just perfect. Now this camera I was using stopped working when I put the cream inside. So I had to refilm it. If you look at this, this cream is not the same. See, you can see the, the thing inside, the lumps. You can see it's darker. Basically, what I had to do, speed up the process. I used the ricotta I had in the fridge, I mixed it, mixed it, mixed it up, and I pretended it was the cream I made earlier. So the cream I used earlier doesn't look anything like ricotta. Look how beautiful and moist it is. That's the way it should be. It's moist, it's creamy, it's like a, a mousse. And then we get to this point where my ricotta is terrible in there, but I had to do it because I was filming. I was filming, if I'm not wrong, I was going away the day after, so I was not able to redo it. That's what happened, look at that. I don't have a video of me putting it, I don't have a close up. I don't have a close up because the camera, the battery died and I didn't know. So see the lumps in there, that's wrong. That's because I use ricotta. So if you look at the other video I made, see that's the right one what I'm eating. Don't look at the lumps, okay? See, here is the right video. I'm enjoying it, putting cocoa, but the camera it was not recording the close-up. I was just recording myself talking to the camera. I'm so sorry for that, but keep in mind, if you follow my recipe, your tiramisu won't look, won't have those lumps, okay? It will be nice and moist. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're not gonna make the Gordon Ramsay version because it does not deserve you to watch it or to be remade. I hope you will try my version with egg whites, but the lady did a very good job. And if you wanna make this lady tiramisu, I will go for it. Just use cream, it's fine. She did everything perfect. Apart from the cream, it's not something I would do, but it is nice, it is also nice. But as you can see, my tiramisu is creamier, it's fluffier, and I love it because it's my favorite dessert. So you choose which one you wanna make. But thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next reaction video or video recipe every Sunday for you. Same time, same place, just for you. E ora si mangia, Vincenzo's plate. Thank you guys. And please don't make Gordon Ramsay tiramisu. Don't make anything Italian that he makes. <laughs> Thank you.